Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am creating a celebration themed card featuring some brand new products from Pink Fresh Studio. Pink Fresh Studio is celebrating their ninth year in business and they have a bunch of new products in this April release that are all about the celebration. Birthdays, babies, graduations, retirements and more. I think these can be used for a ton of occasions. And I'm just going to show you a few of the products included in this release, including these rosettes dies, as well as the coordinating stencil set. This is the wrap around elements die set. I'll be using that in today's project. I'll also be using this Basic Banners Celebrate one piece stamp and coordinating die set. This is great with or without the stamp. And I love this ribbons and balloons product suite as well. I think it's beautiful. And then finally, the Sweet Day product suite has a cupcake, a cake, some banners, and it's available in a stamp set, a hot foil set, coordinating die set, and stencil set. Now those are some of my favorites from the release and I'm going to start out today's card using these rosettes dies. And I'm gonna die cut them from some beautiful colors of cardstock. I have some jade, some salmon, and my new favorite cardstock, which is the Concord and Ninth Nectar cardstock. <laughs> I hope you guys don't get tired of nectar because I'm gonna be using it a lot. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take and run these through my die cut machine on the various colors of cardstock. I'm gonna give these a little bit of dimension on my finished card project, and these really are going to take center stage along with those banner sentiments that I showed you earlier. So this is just basic die cutting. And then when you pop them out of the die, there are some little chads that you need to remove. And guess what? That brand new embellishment tool from Pink Fresh Studio is now available. So you don't have to poke them out with your fingernails anymore. You can use this beautiful embellishment tool. Now, the thing I love about this is it has kind of a jewel wax tip on one end and the pointier end actually has a ball tip so you don't like stab yourself with it. It's not a needle. It's got a soft ball on the end of it but it's still small enough to poke out all those little pieces that you need. So I'm on my way to creating my card but I thought I would go ahead and stamp this Basic Banners Sentiment die set onto some salmon cardstock. I'm gonna be heat embossing this with white embossing powder. Now, something I did wanna mention, I am using a piece of cardstock that's only four and a quarter inches wide here. With this Basic Banners stamp and coordinating die set, you are gonna to wanna to use something just a little bit wider. Some of my banners I had to kind of cut off the end of because my cardstock wasn't quite wide enough. So just keep that in mind. You might wanna use a little bit wider piece of cardstock for this. I've prepped the surface of my salmon cardstock here with a powder tool. I'm inking up my stamp with some Versamark ink and then stamping that onto my cardstock. And then I'm gonna use some Wow Super Fine Detail Embossing Powder and go over the top of that stamping. Just kind of shake and tap off the excess. And then I'm gonna use my heat tool to melt that embossing powder. Now, something you might be taking note of here is that all of my sentiments actually stamped onto this cardstock, even though it was only four and a quarter inches wide. However, when I went to go die cut them, the die did not fit or the die kind of bled off the edge of this cardstock. So that's where you'll wanna use that wider piece of cardstock. And look at all these sentiments you get with one go with that stamp and the die. I absolutely love it. I love the different shapes and I love that you can use this basic banner die with or without the sentiments. And in fact, you're gonna see me create a card project tomorrow using this die and not a whole lot of those sentiments. I'm gonna kind of use it as my focal point and create a really fun banner grouping, I guess you would say. So I'm also using this banner die to cut some more banners from some nectar cardstock as well as some jade cardstock. A lot of these I'll be setting aside for tomorrow's card, but I will layer up one of those nectar banners underneath my sentiment banner today to create kind of that layered effect and give it some, um, a little extra something something, you know? <laughs> but for now, I am using some matte gold cardstock along with the wraparound elements die set. 
And I'm die cutting this to add a little something to the edge of my card front. This delicate little bow from the wraparound element set is, I mean, perfect. <laughs> And you can see my little lazy way of getting these die cuts out of the die. <laughs> I like to do that. Now to add a little texture to the panel that I'm using, I have die cut a piece of white cardstock using the dotted scalloped cover plate from Pink Fresh Studio. And I will die cut that using the rounded braided rectangle die set to give it a little extra something. But for now, I'm going to take these sentiment banners and kind of layer them up. So I have one that has the stamp sentiment on the front. I'm gonna add a little tape runner adhesive to the back and just layer up another layer using that nectar cardstock. I just love the way those look. Now I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the back of those round circles that will go in the center of these rosettes. You can see on this large salmon colored rosette, I've actually done a little bit of folding on those stitched lines. I'm not sure that that's necessarily the intent, but it did give it a little bit of body. So I just took kind of my fingernail and just kind of pushed up on some of those dotted score lines that are created by the die. So you can see I've die cut my panel using that rounded braided rectangle die set that was released last month. I'm using some liquid glue to place this kind of um, string element or um, twine element onto the left edge of this rounded braided rectangle. I'm gonna trim off the excess and then I'm gonna start adding my rosettes onto this panel using some foam adhesive. So these are gonna have lots of dimension to them and I'm just gonna start with the largest one adding some foam adhesive. This jade colored one, I am adding on with a little bit of liquid glue. And for the nectar, the smallest rosette, I added that on with a little bit of foam adhesive as well, but I tucked it behind that largest rosette. And this little bow, I'm just adhering on with just a touch of liquid glue behind it. And my banner grouping, I will add on once again with some foam adhesive. Now, if you don't want this much dimension on your card, you don't have to, but I like it. <laughs> this might be one of those cards that you hand deliver instead of mail. And of course, I'm finishing this off with some more sparkles. Those are some iridescent clear droplets from Pink Fresh Studio. And I'm using that new embellishment tool to place those onto my card front. I'll take this entire thing and add it to an A2 size antique ivory card base. And that finishes off this card that just screams celebration. <laughs> now, as always, I will have links to the featured products used in this project in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there. Or you can head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. I'll have that linked below as well. Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information, a complete list of supplies, as well as some information on a blog hop that's happening today to celebrate this very special release from Pink Fresh Studio celebrating their ninth birthday. Now, as always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here so you don't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.